this is your 2019 Toyota Tundra SR5 with the TRD off-road package. So starting off on the back, you do have your backup camera along with your stamped Tundra logo. And on these areas where you step, you got this really nice durable plastic cover. You also have some chrome on the back along with your, I believe that's your four pin and seven pin connector. And this car already comes equipped with the trailer brake control and your hitch. And as you can see here, this is a lockable tailgate and it is somewhat heavy, but it slowly falls. And this car did come equipped with your sprayed in bed liner. And then lifting the tailgate up, it's actually not that bad with just one hand. This car did come with the step bar accessory. SR5. Let's start with the rear passenger seats. Really, really big door. Starting with the material, you have this vinyl covered area, which is soft and then hard touch, all your speaker and your big door handle. Also, you have a nice, soft, padded area right here for your arm. And then actually right here is actually pretty hard a window switch and then down here you can actually put two water bottles and some more stuff also your speaker now taking a look at the inside you do have these really really nice cloth seats it's really supportive it's soft you do have one mat pocket in the back along with your vents, 12 volt outlet, and two more charging ports. You have the same material for the other side. And I believe this car has two grab handles for each passenger, except for the driver. As you can see here down here, you do have a pretty flat floor. Now you can actually lift up both of the seats back here if you need more space via this lever right here and then you will have more space now getting inside you do have your step bar along with this grab handle right here to lift yourself in oh my goodness i feel like a ant in this cabin holy cow this cabin is spacious it is spacious barely reach can't even reach the vents sitting like this holy cow and the seat in front of me is actually moved back pretty far as you can see here i got so much leg room somebody that's like 11 foot can sit in the back of here and have decent head room and leg room holy crap take a look at the front. Holy crap, this is huge. Now getting out, you do have step bar, something to hold on to. Easy sauce. Now coming back to the driver's side, you do find your gas lid. It does take regular. And this gas lid actually freely opens so anybody can actually access your gas tank and then you do have this little nice area right here where you can rest your gas cap 
while you're fueling. I believe this truck does have a 38 gallon tank. Now coming to the driver's side, you do have the same material. And then this is where you find your window switches, your lock switches, and your window lock switch. For the driver's seat, you do have a fully powered seat. Now coming to the controls on the left of your steering column, you'll find your side mirror controls along with your door lights and your dimmer switch along with this really nice feature which opens the rear window of your truck just over there. And then you also have your tailgate light switch along with your auto high beam feature. And coming down here, you have your foot e-brake along with two rubberized foot controls. You don't have any particular material for your footrest, but there is an area there for your foot. And down here is where you find your hood release. Now, since you don't have no grab handles like the other passenger sides, you're gonna have to use the steering wheel if you need to. Lift yourself in. Let's close the door. Now take a look from the driver's seat. On the left of your steering wheel, you have your headlight switch along with your auto feature. And this steering wheel is fully telescopic and tilt. Over here on the left side of the steering wheel, you do have your volume and your audio controls along with your voice command along with your hands-free phone controls. And, and then these switches over here to the right is actually used to navigate the middle screen. And then coming down here, you have your radar cruise control settings, along with your lane departure alerts. And then you still have your traditional cruise control stock, along with your windshield wiper stop. Now this is a six-speed automatic transmission. You do have your four-wheel drive controls right here, nicely contrasted from the AC controls, so you don't ever get them mixed up. And then over to the left of the four-wheel drive control, you have your traction control along with your tow haul if you're towing, and also a trailer brake control. Your gauges. And then in order to toggle around the settings in the middle screen, you would use these buttons right here. And then you do have a nice sized infotainment system along with your pretty clear backup camera. The driver's side visor. You also have a vanity mirror along with the lights. And I believe it does extend. Now let's take a look at that big engine bay. Now opening the hood, since it's so tall, you won't even have to lift it up with much effort. And you got hydraulic support. Along with that 5.7 liter iForce V8, baby. Just look at it. All you have is just a big engine. Very nice. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys that feature for the rear window. So I told you earlier, you can roll that down. It does roll all the way down. It is a neat feature, but I rarely use it. Now, let's get this truck on the road. Right off the bat, I noticed that everything just feels so bulky in here. Everything's just so masculine. Holy crap. And there is so much room. What am I going to do with all this room? Holy crap. Woo! Alright, 
right, so starting off, you do notice that you have a very, very big hood in front of you. You just know all the time that you're driving this car how big it is. It's not the biggest truck on the market, but this truck does a good job of reminding you that you are in a very big truck. Visibility in this car is very good to your right and to the front. But then to your left here, as you can see, I got this pillar right here that is blocking my way. And this seat here, actually the side bolster here actually goes all the way up here. I don't know why. And in order to see to my left, I do have to take a few seconds just to see what's behind me. I wish the seat didn't go all the way up here. I wish they would have just cut this off. That way it'll free up a lot of room so I can see out to my left a whole lot better. But just like any car, you do have to get used to it. Ooh, steering. Holy crap. You do sit very high. You do hear the engine very well. And if this is your first time driving a truck, you may want to use the lane departure alert because if you're going off the road or off your side of the lane, the computer will alert you, give you that beeping noise to tell you, hey, get back in your lane. But once you get used to driving this truck, you can turn that feature off, which I just did. I'm taking it through this curve. You do feel a little bit of body roll, but it's not that scary. Oh my goodness. This V8 just sounds so nice. Wow. The steering is actually not too bad. It does feel like a truck. That's for sure. You just have this very commanding view of the road. Like there is nothing that you can't see. Besides to the left. I'm actually not too afraid of taking these curves. At speed limit. Uh, well, actually, that one I sort of needed to slow down. But overall, I like this commanding view. I like to see what's approaching me. I like to see what's going on. But yeah, driving this truck, you just feel like you can see everybody eye to eye. And you can see what they're doing. The brakes are really, really good. There is no brake dive, which is surprising because a lot of a lot of heavy cars actually have brake dive, but this truck does a really good job at hiding that. Just flooring it. Oh my goodness! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, that gas pedal is pretty responsive. And the brakes on this truck, man, I'm telling you, it feels so confident and inspiring. Oh my goodness. Now I see why they only get 13 miles per gallon. Yeah, this car does look intimidating to drive at first, but once you start driving it, you're gonna be, you're gonna feel one with the truck immediately, almost, almost immediately. And it's going to start coming naturally to you. Holy crap. It's not scary to get on the brakes. These brakes are really, really good. And the acceleration. Oh my goodness. Woo! Nothing but torque. Woo! Okay, so the truck does feel heavy. But the power sort of hides that very well. As for noise levels, I don't think I hear any wind noise, but I do hear some road noise, which is fine. For steering, 
this car does still have hydraulic steering so you do get some feedback through the steering wheel on bumpy pavement I'm just gonna take this on to some curves even though that's not what it was meant to do but yeah just cruising through these curves is really not that terrifying I feel like the suspension is a little firm, but not so firm to the point where you're just bouncing up and down on your seat. Overall, this setup is actually really comfortable and enjoyable for me. You got a big window to your right, so you can see very good to your right. And then to your left, oh my gosh, you're sitting so high, you can see if a car is coming from a mile away. This is this is so good. So this is why people drive trucks. Holy crap, I saw that Tundra from a mile away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, this, this truck will haul butt. Yep, this is why people only get 13 miles per gallon. But it's so much fun! Holy crap! Alright, so let's test out this turning radius here. Oh, wow! Woo, the brakes are so good. here holy crap this armrest is so well placed and I'm so glad that they actually use a vinyl material for the armrest because usually they would just put cloth Woo -hoo -hoo. you do slide around a lot of these seats because there's barely any bolstering but so far these seats are so comfortable there's actually a powered lumbar support and also just holding the steering wheel man this steering wheel is so big it just feels so heavy duty but the material on the steering wheel is actually it just feels very cheap it's quite slippery so if you're not holding on to the steering wheel while you're doing maneuvers it will slide around if you don't hold it tight I would actually appreciate it if Toyota had put a leather steering wheel. It just makes a world of difference. The visibility of this car is oh so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, this is why people only get 13 miles per gallon. Now I see why some people love the Tundras. They're just so well built. They drive so smooth, drive so strong. They just feel like they can last forever. And they do.